Okay, ready? Yeah. Hello everyone, this is the Pin Cut Sew YouTube channel. I'm Nikki, this is Natalie, this is Layla. And today we're gonna teach you how to make these cool tassels out of your old t-shirts. A good way to use up those two small things in your dresser. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to our channel. And we'll be back at the end to show you what these girls made. Okay, to get started on these tassels, you're gonna need a piece of t-shirt fabric. I cut this off the bottom of one of Layla's old dresses. And either a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter and mat, some thread, and a needle. It needs to be strong but sharp, so I'm gonna choose this one. Okay, so you want to start by cutting lots of little strips. If you wanted to make a long tassel like this one, you would cut them this way. But I'm gonna make this one shorter, so I'm gonna cut it this short way. It doesn't matter if they're not totally perfect because it sort of all just comes out in the wash, if you know what I mean. You can do this with scissors too, if you don't have a rotary cutter or if you're too young to use one. <laughs> I'm just kind of eyeballing it, as you can see. I am not a perfectionist by any means. Okay, so these are gonna be doubled over. So let's see if I feel like that's enough. I think for a short tassel, that's probably gonna be enough. You're gonna lay these down flat like this. I'm gonna cut one more piece, maybe slightly thicker. And I'm gonna um, separate that. So you want one of these to be the tie. So you're gonna lay this in the middle and you're gonna tie it around right in the middle like this. I'm gonna double knot it. Okay so that's what you're gonna use to tie it on to whatever it is. You can make that quite a bit longer if you want to just kind of use your judgment. So then you're almost gonna make like a ghost head. You're going to, I don't know if that makes any sense, you're going to wrap this other piece around the neck. You're going to tie it. You're going to pull it tight. And then if you would like a no sew project, you can double knot that and just let these parts hang in. I'm going to make it look maybe slightly more professional. I'm going to take one of those pieces wrap it around the neck a couple of times like this. And before I trim it, I'm going to thread my needle. I'm just going to tack it. I'll trim that piece off later. I'm just gonna tack this through to the other side. Now, it's very strong. There's lots of layers, so this is why I said pick a strong needle. Watch your fingers, set it down on the mat, poke it all the way through and then make a small stitch and do the same thing back through the other side. Like this. Okay, make a knot, do that twice. Then we wanna hide this thread by going back through the other way. Trim. Now we can make this look nice and neat if we just trim here like this. There, now you have a tassel. Now, sometimes it might look too raggedy on the bottom. So you can either take your scissors or kind of spread it out. This is how I did mine. Kind of spread it out. I'm gonna use my rotary cutter. I'm gonna find the shortest piece, which looks like to be here. I'm just gonna trim all the way across it, like so. Trim off any irregular parts. And there you go. Looks kind of like a little octopus. You could put some googly eyes on there if you wanted. Oops, this part needs to get trimmed. That was the other part of our noose around the neck. Then you can just use this to tie it onto a zipper pull or whatever you want. Your backpack, your purse, be cute. Be fun to make a faux leather one or a real leather one. I think I have some leather upstairs. So I should try that next. So I hope you make some. Let me know if you do. Okay, you're just gonna cut small strips 
Oops, that was too small. <laughs> like this. Just eyeball it. It helps to stand up so you can um, go. Also, you don't ever want to do it backwards towards you because you can shock yourself. I'm a very crooked cutter. Where's my Starbucks? Okay, Layla, that's good. And then line up all of your strips, strips evenly, if you can, like so. Bunch them together. Now separate these two. Yeah. Me too. And you're gonna put this in the middle like this. And then you're gonna tie it. Yeah, tie it. Ooh. In the knot. And this is the string you're gonna use to hang your tassel. Okay, so these pieces need to stay on there. Okay. And then the rest of them you're gonna pull down. Making like it's gonna look like a ghost. Ooh. And then we're gonna tie a noose around its neck right here. <laughs> With your other what? Yes. Okay. I know that's a terrible analogy, but it's the best I can do. Let's see if we can get the cream on the noose. A head. It's a little so neck. High. Yeah. It drips. And Experimental crafting. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think you <laughs> didn't quite make it out of the frame there, right? I think I did. Yeah, but it's color blue. Yeah, this is so blue. easy. You can wrap it around. Can I cut it? And put a dot of blue. But after we get the crayon out of the blue gun. That's cute, Layla. Okay, so then, okay, <laughs> just put a dot of blue. Watch this. Let's see yours. Should we trim it all even? <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Here's our finished tassels. Here, hold your Yay! They look so cute. So we did the super easy route and just glue gunned ours. <laughs> so we thought it would be cool to hang these on a garland like we drew on the chalkboard up yeah. there. String them across your bedroom window or something. Natalie said it'd be cute to make tiny ones for her yeah, accessories too. and her ballet bun. I have one tied onto a zipper, that zipper pouch I made Layla last time. You can put it on your jacket, your backpack, your purse or on your doll's ice cream cup. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. Find us on Facebook or Instagram or bangcutsostudio.com. All right, so cheers and happy sewing. <laughs>